So finally, February has taken leave of us and given way to the month of March. And for us as Ghanaians, March means a lot to us. It's a month of our independence. Ghana, 60 years on, is exactly five days away and I can't wait for it. I'm sure you can wait as well. The seemingly unending power crisis is a major source of worry for most of us. But today, my issue has to do with what the politicians are doing. Yeah, playing politics with it. Should it be encouraged? For us at Multimedia, the month of March has been Christian's Ghana month. And on Joy is Interactive today, we are asking you to identify a monument. Android phones are more reliable than iPhones. Really? Hmm? We get to find out on the show today. Join the conversation on social media, on Facebook and Twitter as Joy News on TV. Remember that this is Joy News Interactive here on Joy News on your multi TV as well as Go TV channel 144, DSTV channel 421. Call me Miss G, the Entertainment General. Let's get started. The power crisis has been a thetan problem for some time now. Reports suggest it's one reason the Muhammad-led administration was voted out of government. The government was unable to fix the crisis. Businesses crippled, leaving many jobless. But that's not the discussion for today. The concern of many Ghanaians is why politicians are playing politics with the power situation of the country. The NDC says it solves the situation. The MPP says otherwise. Should it be allowed to go on? Let's check what you have to say on Facebook. And uh, Abdul Malik Ahmed Opoku says, leaders in this country should depoliticize matters of national interest. Knowing your problem is a half way of solving it. They should solve it and stop apportioning blames. And never should this be encouraged. The politicians should come up boldly to tell Ghanaians the truth about the state of the country's power crisis and stop the propaganda. Prince Nuruddin Balmia said proactive measures must be put in place to solve this protracted energy crisis rather than propaganda politicizing. And Isaac says, I think there should be a bill to deal with politicians who make false promises. Our country is far ahead of, of this, I think you want to say. I think leaders in this country should have a better solution in solving this power crisis rather than making it political. It is very necessary in every democratic country because you never see it as a crime when people were, or you never saw it as a crime when people were saying these things against the previous government in view of our power crisis or your people. Uh, of uh, joy news are going to stop us. I'm not sure we're stopping you. We're giving you the opportunity to air your view on the issue. It shall be well, says uh, James, excellent dilemma. And so those are some of your comments on the situation being politicized when it comes to our power crisis here in the country. So in five days, Ghana will be 60 years. A committee has been set up to ensure that we have a memorable but modest celebration. The committee has also been asked to garner support for corporate Ghana to fund the festivities. So on Join is Interactive today, we want to know what your expectations are and are you unsure that we are 60 in a few days? Let's get to read your comments on Facebook and let's see what you've been telling us about Ghana becoming 60 in a few days. And Sana Mohammed says, not at all because Ghana 60 years did not show any achievement, and the politicians should have bow, should bow their heads in shame for not doing enough for our mother Ghana. Otega says, "Hmm. As for me, I am not unsure about it because I think the publicity is a little low and is not as colorful as Ghana at 50. I don't know, but it seems the celebration has lost a certain touch. <laughs> yeah, I do agree." Little drops of water make a mighty nation. We are crying because President Mahama wanted to transform Ghana in four years. Gradually, Ghana will make it. Patience should be our hallmark. Prince Nuruddin Balmia says Ghana is 60. Whether the country progresses or retrogresses, well, time will tell. And hmm, I expect that we will all follow the words of our excellency um, about being responsible citizens and so those are comments from you about ghana turning 60 in few days 
Again, the month of March represents Ghana's independence. And for us here at Multimedia, Media, we have nicknamed it Ghana Month. Watch out for our educative and exciting reports on what Ghana, or what makes Ghana a great nation. On Join Is Interactive this month. Every time we come on air, we would ask you to identify either a monument, an individual, or a tourist site, and ask you to identify that now. Today, these are clues. This mox was built in the Sudanese architectural style in a village in Ghana. The town is situated about 15 kilometers north of Damango and 4 kilometers south of the Mole National Park entrance. It is one of the oldest in West Africa. It has been referred to as the Mecca of Africa. It has undergone restoration several times since it was founded in 1421. We are asking you today, what is the name of this mox? Let's see what answers you've been giving us on Facebook. So that's the mox in your shorts and uh, we'll quickly read your comments. Uh, Let's see, Prince Nuruddin Baumia says, Historic Larambaga Mox. The history of the Mox is so amazing. And uh, I'm sure this got the spelling wrong. Larry Banga Mox, Larry Banga Mox, Larry Banga Mox. People keep saying Larry Banga Mox. And um, Dawura Jakpa, Grand Mox, you say, Mohammed, Mohammedu Habib Jawula says, Dawura Jakpa, Grand Mox. And uh, Sana Mohammed said Larambaga Mox and Larambaga Mox also from Denison Krimpong Depsin. So those are uh, clues from you on uh, the Mox up the north. On that note, we'll take a break. You're still watching Join News Interactive. We'll be back with more in few. <laughs> From the break, you're still watching Joy News Interactive here on your Joy News channel on Multi TV with me, Miss G. We are live on DSTV channel 421, Go TV channel 144, and also on YouTube. You're streaming live and Joy News Live. Your comments are welcome via our social media handle Joy News on TV. So let's go to Facebook. Our concerns have been raised about the need for the government to sink in 20 million CDs into the celebration of the anniversary at a time the country is reeling in debt and struggling to keep its power on for both residential and industrial users. And uh, let's read what your comments are. Now that we are talking about Ghana 60, the fact that, you know, some people say the celebration is on the low. We are not getting to hear a lot of things about the celebration. Others are concerned that we are going to pump in 20 million Ghana cities in this time where we still are facing power outages. So, Ransford Benny says, um, I do not see the kind of impact we get from spending on the independence events at all. Total waste of resources. Same thing every year and nothing to prove we are actually capable of managing our affairs as well. We keep sinking and bleeding year by year. And right now is not the time to celebrate. We need every money for crucial sectors of our economy. School buildings are collapsing on small children. We need to be eliminating all these dangers. Oh, I pray God help us. We need direction. Somebody stop this people. And uh, Kwame V says 60 years is worth celebrating. Is 20 million cities more than what have been invested in the energy sector or will he solve Dumso? You're asking. Look, 20K for, it's not really K, 20K is 20,000. This is 20 million for 60 years, far better than bus branding. Just do the conversion. 3.5K dollars or $1,000 to see this and you see the difference he's trying to put out. Arthur says, they didn't raise concerns when the dead goat took $13.9 million to build Vice President's house. 
weeks. Hashtag William Stoll hasn't paid the stolen money yet. And uh, he's got some replies. And it says, one reason why we should always be where we are. Remember, dead ghost is no more. And uh, Ioannis uh, says that uh, that's exactly what our problem is, like this brother. When we stumble, we do not focus on where we are going to fall or where we stumble. Let's change our attitude. And also, uh, Anna says, haha, yes, the 20 million is too much despite being raised by private entities. And Nero says, we've always have misplaced priorities as a nation because the citizens do not ask for accountability from the leaders. They take us for a ride. African leaders are good for useless spending, says Benjamin Boateng. And competent team, I thought they were going to perform some wonders. No world politicians has performed before only to turn around and be bombarding us with useless and uh, stupid excuses. After the celebration, what next? Unthinkable leaders. Uh, a whole bunch of something that nature puts in Africa. Selfish people, bro. Sana Mohammed tries to reply him, I guess. And is that your tax? Go drink the sea, says uh, or being a somewhat right. And... Uh, and you were saying each and every one is owing 4519 four, Ghana CDs nonsense, says uh, Philip uh, Ayi Faho. And so those are your comments on uh, 20 million Ghana CDs being allocated to the Ghana 60 Committee for our celebrations this year. So we move on to some other stuff and uh, talk about the doomsaw situation and it's being politicized. Okay, yes, let's talk about the doomsaw situation situation being politicized. Yes, back and forth, we've heard people say that it was the previous administration that led the situation so, and this administration is yet to fix it. We should give them time and all that. But let's go read more of your comments on Facebook. And NS Dankwa says, GH Media, what has happened with the case involving the lady who was stripped and tortured allegedly for stealing in Kumasi? I bet you haven't been following this network. We have thoroughly handles the story we've made it one of our priorities and we've gone thoroughly as well as involving the police giving them guides as to where this event happened who and who were involved and they picked up a, quite a number of people so i think you need to be following join news or watching join news more and um kweku bafo apia for he says one of your spats is a fact that uh, one of your facts is that the power situation wasn't wholly solved and hence in just under two months of this new government we see doom sort trigger just like the flooding situation in Accra after heavy rains last Sunday we saw what happened these people must be solved these problems must be solved and solved well and there is was no doom so before the new government came to power how come we are experiencing it now there's a question being asked by Dektako. and ha 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 power master doom so is too much wake up if you're sleeping it doesn't sound serious remember so long as we continue to buy diesel and use generator no excuse for you please you promised that it will end with the NDC's exit two months on and still Doomsaw, as if what is saying, and the doomsaw is too much. I think something must be done about it because it is now getting worse. Please, Mr. Minister, and that's coming from Philip Dumpty. And um, David Kofi Kwashi says, So the various commendations were only strategic ploys. He's asking, I am really amazed by the line of thinking. As a matter of fact, we are still depending on the financial appropriation of the falling regime that's from frank pa kumi you told the nation it is it's money palaba so fix it Emmanuel wellington is saying and uh, mohammed mohammed says again and trusting that says andrew a serifi and enoch jamra says singing a new song already and it will soon end says one heart salifu and when at all will it be so Godfrey is asking so those are comments from you on the power situation in ghana let's move on to other issues the debate on which gadget is the boss <laughs> that is the iphone or the android both system operating system both of having the best support system well the 2016 quarter uh, states 
of mobile device performance and the health report released by Blanco Technology Group at the World Mobile Congress in Barcelona indicates that the Android devices are more reliable than the iPhones. The report says the iPhones have been weighed down by a multitude of performance issues and high failure rate in the last year. It noted that particularly the iOS failure rate has conservatively increased from the quarter, from 15% in the fourth quarter in 2015 to 25% in quarter one in 2016 to 58% in uh, quarter two in 2016 to 62% in quarter three in 2016. Additionally, the iPhone 6 has been the worst we've had in the system. So we get to read from you your comments on Facebook, what you make of uh, the iPhone and also the Android, which of them is the best. Very true. From the beginning, I never liked iPhone because it was the way they hype it. So you think it was too hyped, as Sana Mohammed says. And uh, Donovan says, very true. That is why I stopped using iPhone. I'm not enjoying my Samsung Galaxy S7, powerful Android phone. And Selassie, or oh, it says that. And the use of it also costs and very expensive. I guess you're talking about uh, the iPhone. And so those are some comments, once more, from you on our Facebook page. And before we go... Should animals be punished for stealing? You're surprised I'm asking this question, right? Well, a rat has been hanged and shamed for stealing rice. Guess where? In China. Picture spotted on Weibo, a Chinese micro-blogging platform, showed the rodents being tied up to what seems like a trolley. A piece of paper attached to the animal's body explained that it had been caught stealing rice at a convenience store. You should be reacting to this on Facebook. Definitely, you would react. So that's the picture on your screen now of the rat being hanged and shamed only in China for stealing rice. <laughs> okay, Abba Ishan says, we love you, Joy. Report more against poor. You go, you go, you go shame? Is that what you say? You go see? Um, this is a mouse, not a rat. Chai, see Moscow, boy. This rat is a rebel leader. Basically, this poor rat will be used for sausage afterwards. Chinese eat everything. Are you one of them? How do you know? Aha, those asking if Joy News has run out of news should go commit suicide. This is a social media platform for Joy News, not a story or news outlet of Joy News or Tong. Thank you for doing the explanation. Not all news can be captured in the news bulletin or everyone has a free time during the news bulletin. So if you want to go, if you want news, go to myjoyonline.com. There you can find what you want to talk. But please, Facebook politicians, leave social media for us, the addicts, for Christ's sake. This is social media, la. Thanks for doing all the explanation for us, Aram Dak. And Aram says, crucify him, crucify him. The day I will catch mouse rats for my room. Hey, posterity will judge the two of us. <laughs> and A, hey, now rat and it is treated this way. Then I wonder what will happen to a human being. I guess you're saying if a human being should still rise, you wonder what will happen to him. And Gorazo says, I think the warning is to its family and friends. Interesting. And <laughs> very interesting. And that uh, it must be used for some grano soup and banku. Really? And I can't think fast as Sana Muhammad. Laugh out loud. Seriously, it's an animal though. Please notify them. Maybe they don't know. I think that's what you want to say. Very interesting. Hilarious says Prince Nuruddin Baumia. And Abakade says, uh, Abakade, Ayepin. So, and that is good punishment, uh, says Daniel Ofori. And Arnold Kumar says that this rat got muzzles, laugh out loud, and uh, they are very heartless. Mediocrity says Kabiru, and uh, Ah says Idol NDC, Ahahaha says Kofi Bediako. So, those are reactions from you on the cat, or the rat, sorry, being hanged and shamed in China for stealing for stealing rice in a convenience store. But we have a video of the day for you. And uh, for those of you who do not know who's won the battle yet between Yapono and Dan Solati Shatawale, 
here's the result. Yo, Wado. Yeah, what's up? I'll be there for now, you could camp. Yeah, yeah. I bet you do it, then you call stone by them, eh? Me, they meet me for there. Yeah, I talk some in you already, in the camp. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, we do do for Nima. Go start at 10 o'clock. Hi, thank you very much. Hi. Hey. You are a bee. Our B, our B, as a matter of Wale, as a matter of Wale. Hey, I'm going to put my work on. Hi, bro. Who are you? Okay. Hey. Hey, that's a pono guy. That's a pono guy. He make you wait. He's going to come. Hey. And there's a young man who put together this video after social media went agog on the story of dancehall Ash Keith Shatawali beef with Yapono. Both of them released songs, two of songs back to back, you know, telling each other what they make of their status as musicians. And this young man felt that Yapono had won the beef and decided to lay Shatawali to rest. So called Shatawali's friends and some industry player to attend Shatawali's funeral seemingly in Nima. So that'll be it for Joy News Interactive here on the Joy News channel with me, Miss G. There's more to come on the Joy News channel. Make a day with us tomorrow. We'll bring you some more exciting stories. Have a good morning.